Okay, hello traders. So today is the 14th of August, Wednesday, our favorite day known as a Whipsaw Wednesday. So we always talk about Wednesday, right? Because Wednesday is where we find the best setups. Okay, if you have not read our book, do grab a copy of it because that's where you learn about the concept of Whipsaw Wednesday. So anyway, just wanted to update about um, DXY as well as Go because uh, these two pairs are kind of um, the pairs which we realize that most of you guys are interested in. So we like to just do a follow up because it's Wednesday. Okay, so uh, if you have not watched our analysis on uh, DXY that was posted uh, earlier this week, definitely do check it out. Um, and the level that we actually did uh, mention was uh, 97.86. So now price did indeed uh, hit 97.86. And right now it's actually looking very nice because it's, it's very symmetrical, you see. Left and right, uh, the left shoulder and the right shoulder is about almost the same. Okay, I right, switched the line chart left shoulder, right shoulder hit. So what we're looking out for now is a, a solid close above um, 97.86. Okay, let me just uh, write it down. Above 97.86. Okay, so because today is Wednesday and you know, uh, Wednesday has the tendency to do a lot of fake outs, Right, so what we will be looking at is not just a H4 close above this level, but we want a day close, okay? Uh, in our next few videos, we'll probably talk about the concept of a day close and why a day close is more powerful than a H4 close, okay? But uh, basically, the reason why is because the H4 is, uh, just represents one trading session. So if you think about it, um, we are based in GMT plus 8, so the uh, Euro time zone for us is 2 p.m., so our candle will be from... Um, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. If I'm not wrong, our candle uh, from our brokerage is uh, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. So that's four hours, okay? So four hours of trading activities roughly represents, um, you know, like uh, one trading session, right? Then when you go into the U.S. session, it's between normally about, you know, the U.S. opens at 8. So our next candle close at um, 10 uh, 10, 10 p.m. Okay, sorry, let me just correct myself. Um, so our candles, if you are using our brokerage, which we highly recommend you to, uh, is from actually 2 p.m., right? Uh, the candle opens at 2 p.m., uh, 6 p.m., right? Closes at 6 p.m. and another four hours is 10 p.m. So 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. represents the uh, Euro time zone, right? The Euro session. And 6 p.m. to 10, right? Because from 8 p.m. onwards, uh, is the U.S. session. 6 to 10, um, actually represents the crossover between the US and the Euro session. So um, the best would be to wait for a day close because when you have a day close above this 97.86 level, what it means is that all three time zones, right? You have the Asian time zone, you have the Euro time zone, as well as, as, well as the uh, US time zone or rather sessions. All three sessions are in alignment that this level is broken. So that's why we are waiting for that. But at the very bare minimum, right, uh, we want New bear. bear minimum, we want to see New York close. Okay, so for us, New York close will be 10, uh, 10 p.m. Okay, uh, GMT plus 8. So we just make adjustments depending on which uh, time zone you are in. That's why uh, one thing that we highly, highly, highly recommend, we cannot stress enough, is use the same brokerage as us so that you will see the same things as, as we do. Okay? So, uh, we'll see how this plays out. So, I think the next trade we're going to take a look at is um, the favorite the pair that you guys actually requested yesterday would be uh, Go. Okay? Yesterday, the markets went a bit crazy, right? Uh, you know, it just was a palm and dumb, right? Same as last week, dollar cat, Aussie cat. Uh, it just went crazy. So always manage your risk. So apparently a friend was sharing with me that uh, it was because of the tariffs. Not too sure about that, but I checked the uh, economic calendar and didn't see much news. But nonetheless, it is what it is, right? We're just participants of the market. So anyway, back to the, today's topic, which is uh, uh, gold, right? So previously we drew this level. If you are not sure how we got this level over here, Watch our previous video because we did cover about this and how we're looking at 1507. Okay, uh, let me just see. Okay, so yesterday, the day ended with a bearish and 
almost like a, you know, uh, not really engulfing, but more like a piercing pattern. So we should see more downside. Okay, we should see more downside. So right now what's happening is uh, this level is broken. So we are probably expecting a uh, price to, you know, do something like this. Okay, and then come down. Okay, so this is what we are probably expecting. And also notice that uh, there is a, this is like a left shoulder, right? This is the head. And uh, potentially this is kind of like the right shoulder for me. Okay, so we feel that uh, this trade is probably very high probability. Uh, I mean, we have to watch for, for a trigger over here, a setup, okay? But um, because it's Wednesday, um, there's probably a lot of stop loss being put below this level and this level, okay? Um, this level, the stop loss would probably have been, um, people who put a stop loss below this level would, would probably already have been stopped out because of yesterday's spike, this spike, right, over here. But I think after that, people who started buying, they probably put the stop loss over here. And guess what? It's Whipsaw Wednesday. So that means that the market will try to stop out people again. Okay. So the concept of Whipsaw Wednesday has to do with uh, finding liquidity, right? And liquidity comes from um, um, like taking out stop losses. Okay. So a good question to ask yourself when trading would always be, um, where are the stop losses located? So in this case, if there's one level that we are very certain that there are many stop losses, it will be this level over here, right? So uh, our prediction would be, you know, price will just rebound off uh, this, uh, this resistance. Take the stop, take out the stop loss below this level and then start rallying, okay? So this will shake out a lot of weak sellers and weak buyers, okay? So just be very, very, very careful. If you're going to take short term trades from this level, 1507, right? So kind of like a round digit, 1500. Okay, you're going to take a shot down here. Just be wary of the downside because structure wise, um, right, you can see that we're definitely still in an uptrend. Okay, still in an uptrend. So uh, just be very careful. So trade safe, right? And we'll see you in the next video.